Yeah, so I feel like I'm due for an upgrade. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today I'm reviewing the 2020 retro of the Nike Air Max 90 Infrared, also known as the Air Max 3 Radiant Red. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet and you want to see more content just like this. And also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But getting into the video, this release for me has been a long time coming. This has been a shoe that I've been looking forward to since pretty much 2015 when the last retro released. The Air Max 90 has always been one of my favorite Air Max silhouettes and I always love the OG colorway. And so every time that this shoe re-releases, I've got to grab a pair. And as you can tell, my last pair from 2000 2015 has been heavy in rotation for the last five years and it's one of the only shoes that I've worn almost every day of the week that uh, I haven't gotten rid of. So obviously today was kind of a special day for me because I finally have that replacement. In fact, I went to the mall this morning and picked it up. So the Air Max 90 Infrared originally released back in 1990, which was two years before I was born. And when this shoe first released, it was actually dubbed the Air Max 3. The reason for that was obviously that it was the third Air Max silhouette. But over the years, the shoe became known as the Air Max 90, which was also the year that it released. And the the reason this shoe is retroing now is because 2020 is the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 3 or Air Max 90. The 2020 infrared Air Max 90s released today on November 9th for a retail price of 140 bucks. And not only that, but they also released in their original packaging as well. Speaking of their packaging, before we actually get into the shoe itself, let's take a quick look at the box. This shoe comes in a relatively narrow gray and red box with the top of the box being bright red with the Nike Air branding in the top right hand corner. Along the sides of the box, we've got alternating gray stripes that can be found on a lot of different Air Max boxes. And then on the front of the box, you've got the size tag, which obviously names this shoe the Air Max 3 instead of the Air Max 90. But jumping into the shoe itself, on the toe, you get to your familiar light gray, felt feeling synthetic suede, which we've all come to know and love on the Air Max 90s. It's not a premium feeling material, but at the end of the day, this is a running shoe, or at least it used to be a running shoe. And because of that, it's definitely not a bad touch. I know for me, it brings back memories of getting stains on that material and not being able to get them out because that material is so absorbent. Just above that, you've got your bright white nylon mesh, which is really soft and also pretty nicely padded. Moving up farther on the shoe, you get to more of that gray suede, as well as these flat white laces. Of course, these laces weave through the iconic infrared TPU eyelet panel at the bottom of the tongue, and then through this black TPU panel at the top of the tongue. Underneath the laces, you've got a very nicely padded white tongue with a Nike Air Max patch at the top. I'm sure you're catching on by this point, but this shoe remains relatively unchanged construction-wise from the previous retro, and for me, that's a good thing. The shape of the panels themselves are slightly more narrow and slightly truer to the OG, but the overall cut of the shoe is relatively the same. Moving inside the sneaker, you've got an infrared colored sock liner on the back of the tongue and a gray sock liner everywhere else. And the insole of the shoe comes in bright infrared with the Nike Air branding printed on the heel in white. One of the things I really love about Air Max 90 insoles is that if you look at the bottom of them, you'll notice that the traction pattern of the shoe is actually pressed into the bottom of the insole, which I think is such a cool detail. As for sizing and fit, the Air Max 90 infrared, or I guess the Air Max 3 radiant red, fits true to size and just like every other pair of recent Air Max 90s. From my experience, Nike's Air Max models usually seem to fit true to size. They do a really great job with sizing. But as I always suggest, because everyone's feet are different, I would definitely suggest trying on a pair of these first before you buy them, just to make sure you're grabbing the right size for you. Continuing back in the shoe, on the bottom half of the upper, you've got this black synthetic leather. Just above that, you've got more of that felt feeling light gray suede, as well as a Nike swoosh in a slightly darker shade of gray, but in the same material. A detail that I really love on this 2020 retro is that Nike actually added an original looking Nike Air hang tag on the right shoe. Towards the ankle of the shoe, you've got a nice little hit of infrared with the Air Max logo right there in the center of the black leather. And then moving around to the heel of the shoe, you've got this nice infrared heel tab with the Nike Air logo in the middle in black. Moving down on the shoe, you get to your iconic Air Max 90 or Air Max 3 midsole that comes primarily in white with your infrared hit around the air unit. Then finally moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this black rubber outsole with infrared hits around the midfoot and on the toe. The 2020 Nike Air Max 3 radiant red or Air Max 90 infrared is one of my favorite retros of the year. Now to be honest with you guys, it's not really a big change at all. It's just a retro of the original shoe. They haven't made too many changes other than the packaging, the hang tag, and some very minor differences around the upper. But this is one of those timeless sneakers that no matter what decade this shoe releases in, it always looks modern and current. The Nike Air Max 90 and in particular the Nike Air Max 90 in the infrared colorway is one of the most iconic shoes of all time. And as a sneakerhead, this is a sneaker that I really feel like 
like you should have in your collection. But with that, we pretty much wrap up the video for today. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on this sneaker and whether you grabbed one for yourself when they released this morning or whether you let this pair go. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.